From your web browser, go to https colon forward slash forward slash github.com. Sign up for a new account or sign in if you already have a GitHub account. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will assume that you are a new GitHub user. When you have entered your details, select the free plan for individuals. Answer the different questions according to your situation. Note, as with most signups, after doing this, you will have to validate your subscription by clicking on a link received in your mailbox. When that is completed, you can log in to your new GitHub account. From your browser, go to https colon forward slash forward slash desktop.github.com so that you can download the GitHub desktop application. When the application is downloaded, install it on your system. We're not going to show this step. Then go ahead and start it up. From the start screen, select sign in to github.com. Enter your GitHub username or email address and your password. Then click on the sign in button. You will now be asked to configure Git, so enter a name and a valid email address. Click the Continue button, then click on Finish. Select Create a New Repository on your hard drive. Enter your repository name and a description. Select the local path on your computer hard drive. You can also configure a few other options as, you're, as needed. Now start PineGrow and create a new website project. Then, save the project in your local Git repository location. If you switch your GitHub 
switch to your GitHub desktop application, you will see the changes already visible within your local repository. Add a few elements to the design of your index page and then save the document. It is now time for your very first commit. Enter a summary for your commit and a full description of the changes. Then click on commit to master. Because your repository is currently only available on your local machine, you will now have to publish it onto github.com. Confirm the repository details, uncheck Keep This Code Private, and click on Publish Repository. By having a look at the History tab, you can see what was committed. From the browser, refresh your GitHub screen and you now should see your repository. Select it and go to the Settings tab. Scroll to the GitHub Pages settings. Select the source of the pages. Here, this is the master branch. The changes are automatically saved and the page is reloaded. Scroll again to the GitHub Pages settings. GitHub now provides you with the URL of your website. Click on the URL and you are automatically redirected to your live site, which is now available for everyone. From PineGrow, make some changes to your project and save it. Proceed to a new commit to the master. Push the commit to the remote to the origin remote. and then check your modifications from the browser. The changes will appear on the live site after a few minutes.